Whose Fault? Not Mine Written by Michael A. Brown Mike the Tiger lived in the wild with his friends named Penny and Miles. They had been friends since they were little cubs. Growing up in the wild, they were taught to be tough. Tigers in the wild must hunt for their food. Not Cousin Ted, Miles said. He lives in the zoo. What is this zoo? What's in your head? Every time we hunt, you always talk about Ted, 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 Ted. Look, I just like my cousin. OK, OK, let the author get back to the story. What's an author? It's the guy telling the story. Shh! Excuse me, the author wrote the story. I am just the narrator. OK! Grrr. Story, please! OK, OK, sorry. Hi, Paul? No? OK, continuing. They must have skills to hunt for prey. If they're not fast enough, it will get away. Man, I missed it. What do I do? Oh, look, another one. Come here, you. Mike saw an antelope. It was food time. Running and running, Mike said, This one will be mine. Not this time, the antelope said, leaving Mike in the dirt to tumble instead. Come on, Mike. It got away. Why? It ran too fast. Whose fault? Not mine. Come on, Mike. Not again. You've got to get better. Try again. Mike, get up and shake it off. Hey, next time, try to stalk. Mike was determined to try again. Ahead was a zebra enjoying the wind. Let's get low and crawl up close. Not a sound or you'll lose any hope. Remember the reason why we stalk. All crawl, no talk, no sound, just walk. We're too big, they're too fast. In a race, we'd come dead last. In the stalk, we crawl very slow to get closer before they'll ever know. Make one sound and it will all be over. They'll get away. You'll have to start over. Shh. Through the tall grass, they slowly walk. Toward the zebra, they all stalked. A snake suddenly slithered in front of them. Mike jumped up. The zebra now saw them. Oh no! The zebra shouted as she ran. Away, fast away from the tiger's plan. Mike began to chase after her. You'll never catch her, said Miles. She's much faster. OK, well, whose fault? Not mine. But not for that snake, whole stripes would have been mine. Not your fault again? Wait, who is Stripes? Oh, the zebra. So you just gave her a name, right? OK. Mike, yes, sometimes it's true. Some things that happen are your fault too. You could be faster or stop closer. You saw the snake, what's new? Get closer. In the wild, you will always see snakes. Control yourself. Hunting is high stakes. You could win, you could lose. You could starve. What will you choose? Remember the antelope? Well, don't look now. There he is. It's time for chow. Mike turned his head, spotting him. Low and silent, he slowly crawled away from them. 
As Mike got close, the antelope glanced. He quickly ran, but was too late as Mike pranced. Mike! Mike! You caught him! Hooray! Oh, please, Tiger Mike, let me run away. I've got three kids and a wife to see. Spare my life. Have mercy on me. Being nice and in a good mood, Mike told him, OK, you won't be tiger food. I'm a vegan. I only eat plants, Mike said. Shocked, the antelope stared. Then with a laugh, Mike told him, Just kidding, get out of here. Quick to escape, the antelope ran. Thank you, Mike. You the man. Or tiger. Well, I learned something today. Sometimes it's my fault too. And that's okay. But one thing I clearly see is I must take responsibility. That's great, Mike, Penny said as their stomachs growled. It's food time, back on the prowl. The end. We hope that you loved Whose Fault? Not Mine by Michael A. Brown. Buy the book and read along. And check out more great stories by the same author. Go to www.whatitellmyselffirst.com